Hey guys and welcome to springtime in Norway. So springtime has finally made its way to Norway this gorgeous beautiful blue sky weather. I'm currently in the town of Hamad. Gonna give the S90 back to Volvo today. So today is my last day with the car. So I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts and the last drive on the 2017 Volvo S90 D4 inscription. <laughs> First off, I want to talk about it's always sad delivering these cars back, especially after having this car for one and a half week now. I've really grown fond of it, so it's sad delivering it back. But what I'm going to miss most about this car is Pilot Assist 2, because Pilot Assist 2 is still freaking amazing. It is true hands-free driving. It's just one of the best semi-autonomous driving systems on the market today. I know Tesla's is better, but this is better than both Mercedes-Benz, Audi and BMW. So the tech in this car, this Pilot Assist 2, the navigation system, just everything I'm really, really going to miss. And I know I do drive an XC90, a 16 model every day, but the upgraded tech here, the software upgrades, I can't wait to get them in my car. since I started and I must say after this week and a half I'm really impressed with the power plant in this car the d4 2 liter diesel engine with 190 horsepower is a really impressive engine it's quiet it's smooth and it's powerful and in this car the s90 you don't need more than the d4 engine the only thing I would offer would be four-wheel drive to get that extra grip in the snow and in the rain and this engine is actually the same engine I have in my XC90, but for some reason it's just smoother, quieter, and more refined in this car. And of course, because the XC90 is a much bigger and heavier vehicle, this car is also much quicker. The 0 to 60 in about 8 seconds, and I know that doesn't sound quick, but the torque, the smoothness, and the push of this car just is really impressive. It feels much faster than the numbers would actually suggest. So 
we're finally in Oslo and the weather is beautiful and it is summertime here it really is warm and the city is just gorgeous and that's the perfect note to end my week and a half with the Volvo S90 because this car is gorgeous inside and outside and that's the real appeal of this car it actually makes you feel something and opposed to the Germans which are just cold precise and clinical and I mean the Germans make beautiful cars the a6 the e-class the 5 series are all great cars but this car takes it to the next level because with its interior and exterior it speaks to emotions and that's the true appeal here and that's really something special when Volvo has managed to make a car that really speaks to your heart to your mind and to your emotions and that's what really makes me love this car and has made me fall in love with this car the past week and a half and if you are in the market for something like this you owe it to yourself go ahead and test drive it because it will make you feel good and when I'm spending this much money I really want to feel good because I've worked hard for that money and it's just a wonderful product from Volvo. I place my dreams among the stars while I'm standing on the pavement. Spinning around, lost and found, just trying to make a statement. I lift the weight off my shoulders and set me free. With the birds in the sky, is where I'd like to be. Without gravity, to hold on the down, to gather away. Hey guys, so I'm at the airport and I've stopped here because I got to take out my fluids and take out my computer. And you guys know that I hate flying, but today I have no choice because I just dropped off the S90 and the XC90 is in Bergen. And Bergen, that's where I'm taking you guys. In the days to come, I'm going to show you more of the beautiful city of Bergen and the nature of the West Coast. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy the footage from here and on the flight to Bergen. So guys, finally in Bergen, in my apartment in Bergen, and I actually haven't been in my apartment since December, since New Year's Eve actually. But finally in Bergen, and the flight went better than expected. Usually I become very sick and very nauseous while out flying, but today it went well, probably because I ate something before going on the flight. So finally here, I'm not feeling sick, but as usual it was really hot on the airplane and it stayed hot during the whole flight. But in the days to come, I wanna show you guys more of the city in Bergen. I hope you guys enjoyed the flight over, the beautiful views of downtown Bergen in the dark, but I wanna show you guys the city in the daytime. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below, and for more car content, please subscribe. See you guys there, and goodbye.